That's behind bars after a woman's battered body found wrapped in a comforter two weeks ago off I-40 near Altus. The suspect is 60-year-old Maurice Richardson of Fort Smith, who police say is her boyfriend. He now faces a first-degree murder charge. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson is in Fort Smith speaking with neighbors and breaks down the details police learned when they showed up to the suspect's house. Yeah, according to the report, the two of them stayed in these duplexes here behind me, and there was a van outside their home, which police say they found blood stains, which indicated that 53-year-old Tania Trent's body was dragged out that van. And neighbors here, they still can't believe what happened. For five months now, husband and wife Adrian and Courtney Gonzalez have called the duplexes off North 41st Street home. And for the past few months, Tania Tran and Maurice Richardson did as well. Tran moving from California to live with Richardson. Who would have never thought any of this, period. <laughs> According to Arkansas State Police investigators, on August 10th, Tran's body was found wrapped in a comforter with a hummingbird design. I look at her every day and I would have never thought that my neighbor would and then the only one. State police say her body was so battered, the only way they could identify her was the serial number of her breast implant. It's wild <laughs> to think that, you know, if, if the wrong thing could have happened, you know, that could have been like any one of us. Neighbor Anna Parga says she always had a strange feeling about Richardson, but she could not put her finger on it. Just every neighbor here always says good morning, good afternoon. This neighbor was off. However, the search by state police at their duplex last Saturday caught them by surprise. I mean, it was people with guns. The detectives were lined up here. They were taping off cars. Tow trucks were pulling in, pulling cars away. State police executed a search warrant at Richardson and Tran's home. During the search, police say they spoke with Richardson and another Asian woman who is now living there, who police say looked similar to the victim. And I'm like, why is this guy in trouble? Like, he seemed like a quiet dude. And I didn't know that that was a whole different lady. Like, I had no idea. The woman living there told police she had known Richardson for a total of three days, and they planned to get married and move to a home off North 29th Street. And I didn't think anything of it. You know, I was just kind of like, oh, that's weird that he's moving out already. He's only been here a month and a half, two months, something like that. And lo and behold, I find out today that <laughs> that mattress was kind of special, huh? Now, that mattress that he's talking about was found bloody at their home off 29th Street and back here on 41st. During the search warrant, police say they found a new bed as well as bedding that matched that same hummingbird pattern that Tran was wrapped in when she was found off the highway. For now, we're in Fort Smith covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News. Micah, thanks. Richardson now charged with first degree murder and is being held on a $500,000 cash only bond. Breaking at tonight at 10, the Lamar.